right now I'm going to show you the drop kick. Uh, it's exactly the same principle as the place kick and the punt. What's uh, most important is the handling of the ball. Uh, what a lot of people do is uh, when you're about to drop kick, they either drop the ball skew and that makes a huge uh, difference of the outcome of, uh, of the direction of your or where the ball's going to go. So what's important is um, dr uh, get the placing of, the, of, of your hands on the ball correctly, soft hands, and when you're dropping it, it's just practice it a few times dropping it, but then you'll eventually get used to used, used to um, just the bounce of the bounce of the ball. Most importantly of the drop kick is the direction uh, and it's place kick exactly the same as the punt as well. Get your target, uh, the direction you want the ball to go and with that it's just the timing of the foot onto the ball. Do not force the ball, it's a nice strike and like I say the more you practice the better you become at it and it's all about timing. Another point, keep your chest towards the target and your shoulders and this will allow your, your uh, leading leg to take you through the ball and get distance and um, hopefully the ball goes through the poles and that's three points. It's actually quite important, you should actually get a scrum off to actually pass you the ball because if you're stationary in a game you're not going to be stationary and have your time. Get a guy passing the ball so you, you're in, in the action, you've got a bit of pressure and you've got to kick the ball straight away. So it's actually a live situation, you've got to scrum off, pass me the ball and then you just kick it over. Not bad for an old man.